It doesn't surprise me at all that Natalie wants to be a teacher. Her interactions with other people is just so great. She's just responsible, she's hardworking, and she always shows up. She's a very loving and caring person. And on the ice, she's a little different, she's a little more fierce, but you can just tell, she gets along well with other people. The consistency in her work ethic and the consistency in her efforts are always there. I mean, if there was tykes and she was there encouraging her teammates and trying to get them motivated, and through her whole career, leadership was always her strong point. I know even though every teacher, even in public school, all the way to high school, saying she's the best leader, in the classroom, she'll lead the whole classroom and sometimes talk a little bit too much and she has to tone it down just because she's trying to take over sometimes. But Next year I'm going to Brock University for concurrent ed and child and youth studies, so it's a six year program. I want to become a teacher and I always love helping out younger kids, so I want to help them and educate them. Like I just love how she is easy to get along with and she communicates, she's very upfront and she was willing to include everyone, which is what I love about her. She's got a lot of qualities that uh, will make her a great teacher. My wife also fought cancer for almost a year, all while she's going through schooling, playing hockey and everything. She only missed a couple of games through the whole thing. She actually changed her career path to become just kind of like her mom. So her mom is her big inspiration. I can't describe how proud I am. It was bring your kid to work day and she was in the kindergarten classroom. And I went there, I was kind of nervous, but then I went there and I fell in love with it. And then currently right now I'm working at a daycare after my co-op in school. It's a lot of hard work. She really cares about her marks, focusing on tests. There's a lot of commitment to being able to play a high level hockey and to be successful in schooling, being on the honor roll, because she was very proud of it. That was her goal. And, and a lot of it, she competes against her sister, right? She's a very competitive person. I know her sister finished with a 97 average in one class, she finished with a 98. She just had to be the next one above her sister, so she's a very competitive girl that really wants to succeed in life. She's a wonderful person, and all the accolades are very well deserving. Congratulations to Ali on this bursary. It's so well deserved. I couldn't think of anyone else uh, on our team to do that, just not only as a player, but as a person. Uh, so a huge congratulations. I see you doing amazing things in your future. Congrats, Natalie. This is a well-deserved honor. You're going to do great things, and I look forward to uh, following your future career. Proud of you, Natalie. Uh, congratulations on the achievement. Um, look forward to seeing you in your future career. Thank you, Dairy Farmers of Ontario, for this bursary. It's going to go a long ways, and I'm super excited to be able to use it in school next year.